Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Many times when I have done some assembly with different part configurations, I have received re rebuilt errors. That's happening because often we forget that some of the features we use when building parts are not designed only for that use. A typical example in which we have troubles to mate a part in assembly without rebuilt errors is when this part has two states, like a standard straight state and second one, which is flex state. And uh, usually in this case, we have a rebuilt errors. What we can use to avoid this situation is actually reference geometries. Stay tuned and watch this video to see how you can use a reference geometry for mates in your assembly in which you will not have then rebuilt errors. For my flexed part, I have picked this tube. First, we should define what kind of mates we will have with this part. For the tube, we will have coincident of two ends and also concentric on two ends. And now when we know this, we should start making a reference geometries, the ones that we will use for mates in the assembly. First will be a plane, which will be coincident to this face here. Then on this plane, I will add a sketch based on which I will make then an axis. Now we add an axis between this face and this point here. Our first side is ready and we go to the second side and make exactly the same reference geometries. Now, our re reference geometries are ready. What we have to do next is add another configuration, which will be for our flex condition. Then we roll back to our boss extrude, insert features, flex, keep the hard edges on and Add your flex the way you want it. I will make it a bit asymmetrical. So this is our flexed part. When we roll forward, you will see that the axes have moved to the new positions. Now we're, this is the part to which it will be made. I'm going to this part and make a new assembly from the part. Then insert it once again. And also insert my flex part. Now we are going to mate using the planes we have created and the axis. You can also lock the rotation, so it's with complete definition. Now, when we have flex, uh, made it our flexed part, now I will change it again to the default state. As you can see, there are absolutely no errors because this plane and this axis, they are not changing when we change the configuration. They are moving their position, but their name remains the same and their definition re remains the same. 
So, it was easy, isn't it? Don't forget to like this video, write your comments in the comment section below or your questions if you have any, and don't forget to subscribe for the channel to stay up to date with all the new videos that I'm posting here. See you next time. Bye.